Hey Deckers, today I want to talk to you about Decktop and a huge thanks to Deadeye VR for sponsoring this video so you can check this out ad free and for providing the Decktop for us to test out. This is essentially a keyboard with a built in stand or dock for the deck so that you can have it close to you as well as having a full fledged QWERTY keyboard and a mouse with trackpad as well. Now overall this works fantastically well. It's got a bit of weight to it as you'd expect to counteract the weight of the deck, but is a solidly built device on its own. Unfortunately, it does say left click and right click is two finger tap, but actually it's click. It's got the standard trackpad click style, although you can two finger swipe for scrolling, which is useful. The mount bracket does swivel around quite easily, though it does stay in place once the deck's on. Although it can be a little bit fiddly getting the Steam Deck on and off, which you'll see in a little while. On the side, we've got USB-C charging, which is useful as everything's moved to USB-C now and our power button. And on the website, they also do a USB-C splitter. So if you want to charge your Steam Deck and also plug in a physical mouse or other USB device, then you can if you wanted to charge the keyboard at the same time. The swivel mount is extremely solid. I did try and pull it out and was not possible. And because it does pivot 180 degrees, you can just use it as a stand if you want to watch something either on your lap or on a desk, or if you just want it as a nice showpiece so you don't have the keyboard poking out. So not too bad. It does get a little bit fiddly going in and out with just that single mount point. But other than that, it is extremely sturdy. This also has full RGB built in and you can change the colors by pressing the light icon and using the up and down keys, as well as changing the brightness by just tapping on the light key itself. And we've got green, kind of whitish blue, purple, light blue, dark blue, yellow, and red. And I really do like the red and the dark blues on this. I'll leave it on blue for now. As you'll see, putting the deck in is pretty quick and easy. Not so bad when it's a naked steam deck and it does hold in very well. You can really put it back because of the counterweight of the keyboard. It doesn't flop over at all. It's a little bit less sturdy when it's on your lap, but as long as you have it at least in this upright position on your lap, it's not an issue at all. Typing is very solid. The keys are nice. The keys snap quite nicely. I think it's like the scissor switch type. So it does feel crisp and clean typing. It's full QWERTY with a dedicated escape button, which you don't see on all of the Bluetooth keyboards, unfortunately. And the trackpad is very responsive, although the missing dedicated left and right buttons do make it a little bit annoying, which I'll touch on a bit more in a little while. If you do have a case like the mod case for Steam Deck or the kickstand case, it does fit in, although it's a little bit more fiddly and it will ruck up the top section a little bit. So you have to fiddle around a little bit to get it solidly in place, but it does fit a Steam Deck with a case in. And just so that we're covered for other devices, it does fit the ROG Ally. It's just a little bit of a tight fit again, especially if you've got the mod case on that. And if you've got the Legion Go, believe it or not, this does also fit. Again, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze to get it in originally, but it does fit in very nicely and is extremely solid. Because of the placement of the top bracket, if you are using peripherals with a wide base, then it doesn't fit as standard. But if you use a USB-C extender or right angle connector, it fits in fine. Perfect if you've got a USB charge disc like I have with some extra games on it. But if you're just using the splitter or the power cable directly, that fits in without issue. Even when you're on your lap, typing is extremely solid. It's just the trackpad that I have the issues with. Now, the reason for this is because if in games like first person shooters, you would want to hold right click and also by default, the scrolling for aim is really, really low. I had to triple the sensitivity for horizontal and double it for vertical for it to feel a little bit more normal scrolling around, but it was very responsive after that. However, because it doesn't have a dedicated right click button, then doing the aiming really is quite tricky. Not so bad in real time strategies as it's usually a single click and hold. You can click and scroll, but you can't obviously left and right click at the same time. So when you're holding down that right click, you've got no way of clicking to fire, for example. So you will need to switch your aim mode to toggle on aim. Otherwise, you are going to hit problems there. Do you feel that if it had a dedicated left and right click mouse buttons, this would be absolutely perfect. But as it stands, 
there is at least a workaround to get that for first person shooters. When it comes to real time strategies there you saw Command and Conquer at the beginning. Again, you have to really press down in that right hand corner for right click, which is okay for real time strategies, but not always the most intuitive way of interacting as anywhere else on this pad is essentially a left click. So it's not divided as much as I would like it to be. Other than that, it is an absolute solid device. And if you're going to be playing EVE Online, which is now officially playable, then you are going to want a type of mouse and keyboard combo like this. And for those that you say you may as well get a laptop, well, I challenge you to get a laptop that plays games less well at the price of a Steam Deck plus this accessory, which is around £75. Plus the portability, obviously you don't need to take the keyboard everywhere with you, just when you're playing those extra games. And you can always detach and just use the Steam Deck as is. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be picking one of these up or what you think of the device overall. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.